What's up guys, it is Shipwreck Samantha here and today I'm going to be sharing the best method I think for creating a color palette. This is just what I go through to create a color palette when it comes to, let's say, designing a character. And this is just a really great easy method for coming up with a good color palette that really meshes well together. Because sometimes it can be tricky to come up with a color palette that just looks good together. And this is the best way to find colors that work. So I am going to go to my drawing app and show you what I do. So this is sort of a short little hack and this is how I create my color palette. So I created a canvas that I believe is 10 by 10, or not 10 by 10 pixels, but it's like, let's see what the size of this is. This canvas is 10 by 20 pixels, so this is a pixelated canvas. It's very small resolution. And so right here, I was creating a color palette for my character, Nora. I wanted her to have a bit of a pirate feel, so I went on Pinterest and I looked for some pirate illustrations, and I picked one out that I liked that kind of had the mood I was looking for. I imported it into this canvas and it made it pixelated. So instead of copying off another person's artwork, I'm using it as inspiration because I just took it and then I went and decided to pick out some of the colors I liked. So I will show you right here. As I came up with Nora des Nora's design, this is the color palette I came up with right here. So I kind of made it go away after a while, but I took from that pixelated picture, yeah, I deleted the picture the, of the pixelated grid, but I chose a color palette that I liked from that colors that I thought would look good together from those pixels. And I wouldn't suggest picking more than eight. You don't want to get too overwhelming with the colors. You can tweak these different colors to what you like, but I'd say stay in a range of a color palette. And this does not include, include her skin tone. I wanted to have a, a good skin tone, not a yellowish skin tone. But that's how you came up with Nora's color palette. And I probably wouldn't have thought to do the bluish purples with the reds and oranges if I hadn't done that. But having the warm and cool colors complement each other really well, since most of her design is warm colors. I'm gonna go back to the pixelated drawing here. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean about turning a drawing into a pixelated piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and import an image from my photo library. Let's pick my mermaid headshot thing right here that I did a couple weeks ago. I'm gonna take this drawing right here and I'm gonna put it on my 10 by 20 pixel grid and we're gonna see what happens. You see how this already pixelates it into a combination of reds and greens and pinks? So I can take from this if I wanted to, I can start choosing a color palette. I'm going to get, really? My pencil just died, you guys. Just killing the mood here. By the way, I'm doing this through the app Procreate. I have to save the picture first and then put it on a higher resolution canvas. Okay, one more thing. You can't save the picture. You gotta screenshot it because if you save the picture, it comes up super, super tiny on the canvas, as you can see. So I'm gonna do this again. And so now I'm gonna start creating my palette. So I like that color. I like this brownish green, as well as the lighter green. And I'm also gonna pick a pink tone, because I like that. And maybe go with a really light color, whoops. Go with a light color there. And then maybe one of these lighter reds. So you can see by doing this, I've already come up with a color palette that complements each other really well. Since red and green are complementary colors, just doing this, I came up with a really easy, simple color palette. So this is a really good hack that you can use. This is a way of taking inspiration from other artists without copying them, because you can pick any illustration that you really love and you find sets the mood you're looking for, turn it into pixels, and then pick the colors from that that you like. And you can easily get a pixel, easily get a really easy color palette. And this is something you can build from. I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if you found this helpful, be sure to subscribe because I have new art video every single Friday with tips and tricks and helpful tutorials for you guys, as well as speed paints where I learn new things as well as you guys. If you aren't already and you like to be, be sure to join my pirate crew by hitting subscribe right there down below. 
again I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful be sure to give it a like and that's all I have for today so I will see you guys next Friday.